Hiya, welcome back to my channel. Today, um, my daughter wants to make some videos, well, some videos of uh, photos of uh, levitation, levitation food, levitation foods. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, so what I'm going to do to help her is to make up this sort of uh, stand where we're going to be propping up the food stuff. I think the way I'm going to do it is I'm just going to be utilizing this uh, cut-off stepper and these two cut-off uh, decking boards. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stand them, stand them up like that, utilizing these as a way of holding it. And once that's like that, what I'm going to do is maybe make some holes here, 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 where I will then pass through this wire. Uh, I think it's called invisible line. I got that from Amazon. Um, and then from then onwards, what the line will do is sort of act as a stand for the foodstuffs. Okay, um, after about two hours, the levitating stand is now complete. Uh, I mean, that's where the food is going to be sort of laid in layers for my daughter. But I don't know whether you can actually see the strands. Yeah, some of them are visible, but... I mean, like the top ones are not visible at all, which is the idea because I think that will make it much, much easier to sort of work with in Photoshop. So first of all, I'm going to be taking a photo of me having my hand over the plate like this, and then we're going to move on to the stand and making the sandwich float. Okay, so I'm going to start assembling the sandwich onto the stand. Then I'm going to put the egg. Now I'm going to put the ham. Now the kale. I'm gonna have to stand up for this. Oh no, this one's folded. It's folding. Oh, there we go. And then the last piece of bread on top. Now hopefully that doesn't fall and then crash everything. <laughs> now I'm going to take the photo of the floating sandwich. Now that we've taken both of the photos, I'm going to go into Photoshop and edit the photos to make it look like the sandwich is sliding on top of my hand. Okay, I think what I'm gonna do first is um, I'm gonna pick up two photos that I'm gonna edit quickly. Um, yeah, I'm gonna open them to in bridge. Um, just open them up in Camber Road, and from then onwards, I'm gonna uh, do select all, and then I'm gonna do a quick edit. I'm not gonna go crazy here. I'm just gonna show you how. It's usually done. I'm going to look at this one and select that as well. Maybe just lower the exposure a little bit. Let's have a look. Yeah, I think that will do for me. Select O and then open in Photoshop. Okay, now that we've got our photos open in Photoshop, what I'm going to do is 
I'm going to move this one here by clicking the move to. I'm going to drag that one, this layer onto this layer here. Make sure that they're lined up. If you're not sure that they're lined up, what you can do is uh, select both photos by clicking one photo and then you press the shift button and then you click the other one both are selected go on to edit and then just click auto align okay that will align them okay for you um hopefully my exposure is the same between the two photos because what that will do is that will make it easier when you are trying to clear off the other one let's have a look yeah i think it's pretty much it might be a little bit different but not by much so what i'm gonna do now is um i'm gonna put on a layer mask get my brush make sure that it is uh, black here so that I will reveal the bottom layer, which is uh, this one here. And from then onwards, I'm just going to rub off things that I don't want in this picture. Yeah, obviously the exposure, you can tell that is a bit different. But hopefully, that's not going to make much of a difference. Hmm, what's going on here? Ah, yeah, we've got a bit of a problem over there. In regards to Jasmine's Marcus's hand, it's not that visible. I'm not going to worry too much about that. And it's pretty most likely that her face is covered as well by the sandwich. I hate her. I mean, I could use the other uh, the other shots that we did, which it's got flash on it. But the only problem with that, the reason why I didn't go with them ones, is because um, of the shadows created by flash. In other words, I think uh, you know when I took this uh, this photo here with a with a sandwich floating sandwich, it sort of projected some shadows onto the sofa here. But with the second photo here, those shadows won't be there. So I just thought maybe that might look a little bit weird. But I'm gonna see how it comes up with this one. Obviously, I'm not gonna go crazy accurate here. <clears throat> but I'm just sort of demonstrating what you need to do to get a levitating shot of a uh, sandwich. I think here this is where you need to sort of uh, take your time, no need to rush. However, can I just say that you know the, the good thing about uh, making a mask instead of using the eraser is. If you go like that, you can easily just reverse that and paint it all back. That's a good thing about that, uh, about using a mask. Okay, I think here, what I tend to do is I tend to enlarge to make it easier to work with. Again, like I said, you know, the trick here is to take your time. And rush. I mean, other people use different tricks, you know, things like selection. That might be a little bit quicker. But it's important, it's, I mean, it's important to know that you've got so many ways of doing it in Photoshop which if one trick doesn't work because sometimes you know using a selection doesn't always work especially if the borders are not that uh, defined I 
I'm mean, doing it quickly here and you can see that there is still a yellowish element here which you shouldn't have so you can go around and erase it there we go that's gone Yeah. 